The head of the U.S. Navy was in Maine today touring two facilities important to maintaining America's power at sea. Acting Secretary of the Navy Thomas Harker has just wrapped up a tour of the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard in Kittery, but he spent most of the day at Bath Ironworks, where management and union workers say they're working more closely to build more ships more quickly. And they wanted Harker to see that for himself. Here's New Center Maine's Don Kerrigan. This visit may be especially important for Bath Ironworks. A year ago, the company said it had a problem with shipbuilding being behind schedule. In one case, a destroyer nine months behind. Those delays in building destroyers were a major problem for the shipyard and reportedly a factor in the Navy's rejecting BIW's bid for a new kind of ship. The issue was also a key in last year's summertime strike but apparently those hard times and words have been set aside and the company says management and union have now made big improvements in efficiency. And after today's tour, Maine senators and Congresswoman Pingree said they noticed the change. One of the truly impressive things that I've, I've seen today and seen in conversations with both Local 6 and BIW is just this uh, spirit of cooperation, of coming together. What we're seeing is, as I say, a, a kind of rebirth of this great, uh, of this great shipyard. And uh, our job is to be sure that there's a continuity of, of workforce and continuity of work in order to uh, keep these wonderful main men and women uh, working. And that's one big reason they brought Acting Secretary of the Navy, Thomas Harker, to see Maine's two yards. Maine and Mississippi, which build all of the Navy's destroyers, are pushing the Navy and Congress to expand the fleet and build more ships. You see that our Navy is deployed everywhere, to every troubled spot in the world, and unfortunately there are a lot of them right now. Something Senator Collins and the others say is a serious need. You've only to look at what China is doing in building up the numbers of its ships and submarines to realize the challenges that we're facing. They say the destroyers built at Bath and the submarines maintained at Kittery will be critical for that effort. Now it will be up to Maine's congressional delegation to fight the funding battle to make sure that both yards, home to some of Maine's best paying trades jobs, continue to have plenty of work. In Bath, Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine.